Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a hob made by Essentials. I think this is a Curry's own brand, know-how, part master and whatnot. I think it came from Curry's. It's a CGHOB uh, B16. This is the, that B stands for black. X I think is stainless and white is white. It is what it is, the cheapest one you could get. It's a gas hob. It comes fitted for natural gas, but then you change over the jets to LP gas, liquid petroleum gas, which is the gas that comes in a gas bottle. And when you do that, sometimes this happens. And I fitted this a few years ago. I'll show, I'll show you what happens first. So you turn it on and it's on, stays on. And you gotta turn it down. It doesn't really go down very much. There's, the low flame isn't that low. That's a complaint with these that um, has made it to my ears. And I just took this out and I thought, well, let's have a look at this and see if this helps at all. So somewhere near the back, if I recall, minimum setting or turn down. I never thought to look at this when I was installing it. I may have read it, but ignite the burner and set the control to its minimum position. Let's go back there. Click, click, click. Oh, turn it on. Right. Set the control to minimum. For uh, two, remove the control. So that's here. Pull that off. Uh, NG is natural gas, so I don't need to worry about that. But for LP gas, Rotate the turn down screw clockwise until it comes to a stop. This is the fixed turn down position for LP gas. Clockwise. Now I was looking at this going, knobs off, can't see nothing. So you gotta get a little screwdriver, pull off this rubber here. In fact, I don't know if you actually do have to pull that off. But you look in there and you can see two screws, right? Two crosshead screws, one there and one there. But if you look around a bit more and you can actually see this better with the camera than you could without it. Just in here, there is a little screw. So, rotate it clockwise until it comes to a stop. Let's do that. Oh, it's still turning, that's it. So, it has a lower setting. So that should be back here, the lowest setting. Turn it up, it's up. Ho 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 ho, look at that. Right, so I'm gonna do that for all four of these. Might as well leave them on, you know. Um, in fact, I don't even know why you need to turn them clockwise until it comes to a stop with the thing on, but let's go for it. Um, I should have said at the start, these things over here, this is what I've been using to turn it down, to effectively turn it down, because they're just heat absorbers or heat distribution mats. All right, let's turn them all on. Big one. There's a lot. Whoop, stay on. The heat uh, thing hasn't come on yet. There, no. Failsafe hasn't clicked on. There it is, right. Turn it down. It's burning a bit yellow there. I don't think that top's on right. Let's give that a kick. There you go. And this one. Now, I'm not sure you're meant to do all four at the same time, but, well, it doesn't say not to. So, pull off these knobs. Three. And I pulled off the rubber seal. I'm gonna try and do it without doing that this time, presuming that they're in the same place. I can't see that. I'm going to have to pull them off. Getting them back on is the tricky bit. But we'll give it a clean, actually, when they're off. Mm, it's in there. Okay, so this is the big one we're on now. Difficult to get to, actually, this little knob. Because of that red thing, whatever it is. I'm going to struggle to get that in there, you know. Yeah, I'm struggling. I don't really know that I need to turn that down so much, but what I'd like to see is that when they're all down, they're all still on. And then when I turn them up and off and all that, that the failsafe still works. I call it a failsafe. It's a flame monitoring device, I think it's called in this book. This one looks to be all compawampus to the side. I'm gonna struggle to get that thing in there. This one is which one? Back, left. I'm glad I started at the front one because I don't think I would have ever seen these. Let's try with one of these. In fact, I might reach in there better. Okay. Oh, it's really stiff with that one, but I'm turning that one down over there and then this one. I can't get that in there. You see the way it's not centered in its hole? I guess that's what you spend your money on. I 
can see it, but I can't get in at that angle. Mm, I can't get a grip on that. I'm not going to worry too much about it, you know, because there's a lower one and there we go. All right. Full. It's getting hotter as I do this job. Full. Bit of a yellow tinge off the tip of that one. You can't see it on the, you can just about see it in the camera. All right, that one full. This one stays on, stays on, down, 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 down. And they all stay on and they're not flickering or anything like that. So let's turn them all off. One, two, three, four. And in a moment, you should hear four clunks. And I'll just talk up to that point and say nothing of any importance other than to give you an example of the length of time it takes. One, two, three, Hmm, I only heard three there. I'm gonna try that again. This will take a bit longer. One, okay. Okay, I heard the that time, big one, it's on, it's staying on, turn it off, you should hear a clunk, did I hear that straight away? Might have done, because it's not staying on as well, might be on the blink, that one. Yeah, I'm hearing that failsafe come on straight away, it should take a bit longer than that. This one should take as long as the first two. There it is. Right, so they only take 10 seconds or so, it's not that long. But so for now, let's try and get one of these guys back on. I won't show you me doing all of them, but. Oh, so that's, the red thing is the switch. I didn't notice that before. Right, so with the phone held out of the way, hopefully I can do this. It's got a section like that. So there's a lip underneath and a lip on top and you've got to kind of flick the lip underneath in. I thought about cleaning it, but I'm probably not gonna do it. And just kind of folding it up and flipping it in. And then it wants to come out again. And then you push that in. Is it gonna stay in? That's not, I'm not happy with that at all. Let's try the other one. You could, of course, just leave these things out, but they're only there to stop dirt coming in. Yeah, it's this, it's this red thing here that's getting caught on it. And it, there's a tiny bit of space, but very, very little. So. I'm wondering if it's worth trying to fold it that way first. And force it over that bit. This seems to be bet going a bit better. So once I'm in there, then I can flip this around. That's it. So I'll do that and go back to the first one. Come on, pop, go on in. That's it. That's what it should look like. Let's try this again. Right. Come on, just bundle it up and post it in. 
we're nearly there. That's it. All right, so that's how you do it. And then you put the knob back on, and then you click. Likewise here. I've posted another video of, I think, fitting this actual stove. And for the benefit of people, this job is not being done in the UK. So, you know, I can demonstrate that because it's not in the UK. If you're in the UK, you've got to follow the UK rules. But people in this video seem to have come from the UK. People who are commenting, that is. But please feel free to leave that same comment about how I'm not supposed to do this job. Even though here I am doing this job, not in the UK. Anyways, let's not get into all that right now. Jobs are good on this one, I think. For this essentials, essentials hob. Questions or comments and uh, observations about how I'm not supposed to do this and I'm not allowed to do anything by myself and neither are you. Uh, leave them below. And comments about self-resilience and uh, development of skills. And, you know, if you lived on an island off the west coast of Ireland, um, maybe this would be helpful because, you know, your cooker is not working right and you need someone to fix it. And to get someone out on a boat, you know, might cause you a bit of difficulty. Just leaving that hint there. Anyways, resilience, self-reliance, getting things done yourself when there's nobody else around. You know, it's good to know how to do these things. And I wouldn't have seen that little screw unless I talked this through with someone else. I was looking at it going, I don't know what I'm talking about here. But the manual actually, in this case, pulled through and does tell you how to do it. I'm still waffling. Yes, I know. Uh, one of the things it does say in the book, which annoyed me, Where's it gone? There's like a fault finding issue page. Oh, come on, where is it? It's a good little hob, this, and it comes with a good list of things, right? So, problem burners do not turn down much when running on bottle gas or LPG. Burners may not have been adjusted correctly. Check with your approved service agent. I read that first and thought, mm. flame tips are yellow. Call your agent. Well, that is one that I'm a bit, a bit worried about. Objection loaders, call your agent. Flame appears to lift off the burner, call your agent. I think that's too much gas, but I think they're all part of an adjustment thing. Anyways, going back to that, burners do not turn down much when running on bottle gas. They just need adjustment. You just need to adjust them. Take a screenshot right now. That's how you do it. It's easy, and that's the conversion page there. Take a screenshot, quick. And another one, to adjust the gas rate, it even tells you, with the aid of a thin-bladed screwdriver, completely tighten down the bypass adjustment screw, which is located down the center of the gas tap control shaft on the gas tap body. I don't know where that is, but if I was looking for it, I'd find it. And you put the rating sticker on it. I think that's probably underneath, somewhere under a little metal cover, but I'm not going looking for it now. Right. Any more for any more questions or comments, leave them below. Hopefully this is helpful to you and will get you out of a pinch when your saucepans keep boiling over. Thanks for watching. See you later.